Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my current skincare routine. And this video has been quite requested, so today I thought I would just sit down with you guys, show you all the products that I put on my face, what I do in the morning, and for my evening skincare routine as well, and just talk about it all in general. I would say my skin is quite normal, but then I definitely suffer from hormonal breakouts once a month, and I'm thinking more and more about anti-aging, as I'm getting older so hopefully there's a few tips in this video I've always been quite keen uh, when it comes to skincare and beauty products I actually worked in beauty PR before I was a youtuber like years and years ago and I think my interest kind of started then and my husband's always been really interested in it as well so between us we have so many products and this video is not sponsored I'm not always that loyal to my skincare products like sometimes I'll change things up yeah so let's start out with my morning skincare routine it's very easy and very simple because I feel that once I've done my entire evening skincare routine and slept on a clean pillow like there's not much dirt on my face except for a little bit of oil so all I want to do in the morning is get that tiny bit of oil off and like refresh my skin so I use this cleanser it's called special cleansing gel it's from Dermalogica I've used it for absolutely ages and it lasts forever because you you only need the tiniest like pea-sized amount on your fingers and then I actually mix it with water it creates a foam and I'll wash my face with that and then once I've washed my face I will tone with the antioxidant hydra mist this is also from Dermalogica you'll notice there's quite a lot of products from them and they just kind of work on my skin. Dermalogica and Elemis, I just really love all of their products. Um, but I'll use the Hydra Mist to tone my skin. It just basically firms up your skin and hydrates it. But I also really like using a toner because I feel that once I spray it onto my face, it really helps to distribute the moisturizer like well. So I'll spray with that. Then I will use, this is my daytime moisturizer, it's called Dynamic Skin Recovery. And I love like the feel of it and how it goes onto my skin, but it's also 50 SPF. So I've got all that protection because the last thing I want now as an over 35 woman is to get any sun damage onto my skin. And again, you only need the tiniest like pea-sized amount of this moisturizer. And then I also use an eye cream. I would say an eye cream is like something you definitely need to use at night, but I tend to use it in the morning as well. And at the moment I'm using the Bare Minerals Ageless Phyto Retinol Eye Cream. This is like a little pot. It's actually been lasting me for so very long because again, you only need a tiny amount. But these four products here, that is literally my morning skincare routine done. I would really recommend if you are looking to change up your skincare routine that you go to a salon and have a free consultation. Most good salons will just look at your skin for free, tell you what products would be good for your skin and then give you free samples to take away test out yourself before you actually buy the proper products because products like this they can be quite expensive so you really want to make sure that you are getting it right and that you're choosing the right thing for your type of skin but now onto my evening skincare routine at the end of the day when i have dirt on my face and leftover makeup the main tip that i would say to you guys is to double cleanse and you can do that with a specific pre-cleanse which is what i use this is an oil-based cleanser which helps to just melt off any makeup or dirt that's on your face so I'll use a little bit of this with some water and then I'll actually take it off with a washcloth like this I buy these on Amazon one side is slightly soft and then the other side is really quite scratchy and exfoliating so I'll do the pre-cleanse with the softer side and then once like the majority of my makeup is all off and like the dirt and everything then I'll actually cleanse my skin and I use this one this is the skin resurfacing resurfacing cleanser this cleanser is from the Dermalogica age smart range so it is for slightly older skin it has lactic acid in it to really help smooth your skin out and exfoliate it so I'll use a little bit of this on my face and then I actually remove it with water and the more exfoliating side of this washcloth so it kind of like exfoliates the skin like the product does it itself but then this also helps 
and then I'll also rinse my face off with water as well. I feel like exfoliating my skin makes such a massive difference to it. It makes it look fresher and newer and gives it that shiny look because I've literally scrubbed off all the dead skin that is on there. So I use this very coarse exfoliant this is actually from Beauty Pie. It's called Wonder Scrub. And this feels like, you know, like a sandy one, like really gets in there. And I tend to use this whenever I'm in the shower. So I'll wash my hair only two to three times a week. So I'll really do like a deep exfoliant in the shower with this product. But during the week, if I ever think, oh, I wanna like, like my skin's looking a bit tired, I want to exfoliate it. I really like this daily microfoliant. It's a very fine exfoliant and Matt really likes this as well. He uses this almost every day and you can actually put this in your cleanser to like save time, but also be exfoliating at the same time. Once, once a week, I'll use a mask, maybe like once every two weeks. And at the moment, I like this Hydro Mask Exfoliant. So you put it on and it kind of exfoliates your skin. You leave it on for 10 minutes. So often, if I get into the bath, I'll put it on my face, like have it on for the 10 minutes and then wash it off. And I feel like it just like renews my face. And this has lasted me like a year. And once I've washed and exfoliated my face, I will then use the same toner that I use in the morning. This is the Antioxidant Hydra Mist. I'll also use the same eye cream. This is the Aegis one from Bare Minerals. I don't know if I should get a different eye cream for the morning, but let me know if you guys do that um, in the comments below. And then once I've done that, I'll use my evening moisturizer. This is called the Sound Sleep Cocoon. It smells of lavender. I really like it. I would say it's that bit richer at night because I do want to moisturize my skin. But again, you only need like a pea-sized amount. I use one pump of this. I feel like this product is quite pricey, but I use it quite sparingly on my face and then I go down to my neck as well. And the only other thing that I wanted to share with you in terms of my skincare is that I fake tan once or twice a week depending on if I'm going somewhere or I have an event to go to or during lockdown I pretty much didn't at all because there was nowhere to go. But I do like these two products when it comes to fake tanning my face. This one is called the Self Tan Purity. It's from Saint Tropez and I did work with Saint Tropez on my Instagram account, but this isn't part of that partnership or anything. Uh, but what I like about this product is that it's so quick and easy to use. So if you are a busy person, you can do your like morning routine in terms of skincare, spritz this onto your face, then put your makeup on and it will like work underneath your makeup. So it's very quick and easy and it's very like a natural glow. And then I also like the face from Fake Fake as well. I've talked about that in the past. If I'm ever feeling a bit like bleh, when I fake tan my face, I feel that bit more like, I don't know, alive. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to share with you in terms of my skincare. In terms of body care, I feel like the moisturizer that I use on my body like changes all the time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it interesting. Ask me any questions that you have in the comments below. And I would also love to know from you guys in the comments, do you use a facial oil? I see so many people like using facial oils and like all the fancy rollers and I've never really used one. So I would love to know if you have any recommendations also for a morning eye cream as well. Be interested to know what you guys use. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.